The best description of Bobby Ingram's impact in college is best written in the Penn State Football Encyclopedia. Bobby Ingram is considered the greatest clutch receiver of the Joe Paterno era, if not the best in the 124-year history of Penn State football. Ingram has just retired from a solid 14-year run in the National Football League to become an assistant coach with the San Francisco 49ers. Ingram is best remembered for his heroics in Penn State's undefeated 1994 season. Ingram says the come from behind win over Michigan State to end the 1993 regular season was the key to the following year. I, I think that was that was a, a, a strong building block for a number of reasons. Um, you had a lot of people making plays in a crucial situation. And you know, I just remember the two minute drive at the end of the game. You look and all of the skill guys made a play. Everybody stepped up. And I think that gave us confidence that if everybody played to their potential that we were going to be a very difficult team to stop offensively. Ingram says the 1994 team, despite averaging 47 points per game and over 500 yards in total offense per contest, had to overcome some adversity on the field. If I thought about it, you know, and I still keep in touch with a lot of those guys, you know, we formed some special bonds uh, here at Penn State and then we had a lot of success on the football field. But I mean, the, the, the Michigan State in 93 that you mentioned, the 94 game up, I'm sorry, just Michigan State, the 94 game at Michigan. Right. The 94 game at Illinois. Ooh, that was scary. I mean, it, yeah. was, it was some some games, uh, the Texas Tech game. I mean, it was just, just some games that uh, you really look back and, and you, you look at the, the tremendous players that you play with and you realize how fortunate that we were that everything came together the way it did at one time. Ingram says playing for legendary head coach Joe Paterno has created a special bond with players from all generations. And it goes without, without saying, you know, when you find out a guy, even if you don't know him, a younger guy, older guy, when you find out the guy played at Penn State, there's an immediate connection because of this program, because of what Joe was able to build and because of what we did on that football field. Ingram says Paterno's lessons extend beyond the playing field and become more pronounced after you leave the program. You look back and you just realize that this is this is a this is an opportunity in, in everybody's lives when they're young men and particularly young women uh, that you you come of age. And I'm thankful for Joe for just giving me that opportunity for being loyal and for realizing that I was going through a difficult time in my life. Uh, and for that, I'm, I'm forever, forever great, for grateful. But I wanted to make the most of that opportunity and do something special. And uh, I feel good about what I was able to do here and accomplish here on and off the football field. Ingram says the decision to lead the NFL as a player was easy, and the time is right to turn the page on a new chapter in his life. It's an exciting time where I get to live out another dream. It gives me an opportunity to stay around the game of football and. Uh, I'm fortunate, I really am fortunate. The, the fact that I was able to play for 14 years, play with a, some good organizations and some great guys, some lasting memories. Uh, I'll miss the locker room, but for me it was time. It was time to transition to something that I, that I talked to my family about and gave a lot of thought and consideration to. And, and it's a challenge that I'm looking forward to, I'm very excited about it.